right, let's wrap this up. UNLV. The Rebels went four and eight last year, two and six in the conference. Offense returned seven guys, five starters back on defense. Number five most experienced in the conference, number 61 in the country. Head coach Tony Sanchez enters year five with a 16 and 32 record. He needs to get to a bowl game. The AD came out and basically said, We're looking forward to a successful season with a bowl game. I don't think that's what you want to hear from your AD. I'm looking forward to a lot of things. Yeah. Tony Sanchez was a revered local high school coach that won state championship after state championship. He's fantastic at that. But they they said, okay. They they did the, the Penny Hardaway thing before Memphis did, right? Brought him in, said, all right, this is your program. You run it the way that you see fit. But four years and 16 and 32, that's not a good thing. Quarterback Armani Rodgers, pretty good. He's, he's coming back with nine offensive line uh, players with starting experience. Nine. That's pretty impressive, right? That also means ain't nobody consistent. So that's not a good thing. Uh, the offense has not been the problem, though, no. with UNLV. They just can't stop anybody. Number 120 scoring defense. They got quality depth at linebacker. They got some talent on defensive line. See, they there's should words improve. around like quality depth. And I just that's, don't know that that's How right. about this? They got depth at linebacker. They got a lot of people that can play linebacker. Yes. They, they should improve their numbers because they are – better as far as talent, as far as depth, as far as experience goes. They're better as at, at all of that than they were last year. But I mean it they the numbers need to be way better. Like number one twenty in scoring defense is awful. So the schedule, uh for them to make their first bowl in, you know, forever, uh is ridiculous. They would need nothing short of me. Yeah, I mean it's it's impossible. It's uh, here I'll run through it. I've got them at two and ten. I got them one and seven in conference. I got them. I got them three and nine. That's even. That's reasonable. But that's that's, that's, that's still going to cost him his job. Yeah, I was about to say yeah. He's uh, still losing the job. A win over Southern Utah to open things up. Everything looks peachy. UNLV one and zero. Everything's great. And then Arkansas State comes to town. Loss. Yep. At Northwestern. Loss. A bye week. Which is hey, after getting your brains beat in a couple of times, you might need to kind of recuperate. We're gonna come out, we're going to Wyoming. Loss. Nope. Boise State, loss. At Vanderbilt, loss. At Fresno, loss. San Diego State, loss. After that bashing, then you got at Colorado State, which you would think, okay, maybe there's a reasonable chance, except Colorado State at that point is gonna be desperate. So loss, a bye week. Then you got Hawaii at home, loss. And then our old pals, San Jose State, are coming to town. And I've got a win for UNLV over San Jose State. I, I got that as well. But then a loss at Nevada to close things out in the uh, whatever rivalry they want to call that yep. between UNLV and Nevada. So 2-10, and 1-7 and seven in conference. Uh, I think this is the last year that we see Tony Sanchez on the sidelines. And next year... We have a brand new coach in the Raiders, uh, or is it, is it 2020 when it opens up? I don't know. They, so, they but that's keep, where, that's where you and OB. You you know they're charging like forty thousand dollars for suites at yeah. that thing. That was pretty impressive. I was like, this is a big time football program. Then it won't be as easy to sell if they're two and ten. I mean, maybe you get like a fifty percent closeout deal. Like, <laughs> you think the Raiders could like? somehow put Gruden's contract in with like, hey, you also have to coach this other team for ten million dollars a year. You know it'd be funny if, if they got somebody like Jack Del Rio. Like if the Raiders were like, you know what, we're paying you anyway. Why don't we just help out the local guys? Help out the local guys. <laughs> like we're paying your buyout for the next few years anyway. Yeah. Like it come on. Come on back and you can just coach in the same stadium. It'll be great. Because you were looking forward to going to Las Vegas anyway. Boom. I don't know. What, what do you got them three and nine? I got them three and nine. There's there's no way they get to a bowl game, is there? Oh, no. No, I mean, I, like I said, I, I just think, I mean, you're talking miracle. Yeah. Yeah. All right. find six wins on here. Tony Sanchez, it was a good run. 
and it really wasn't that good. It really wasn't. But but we're glad you gave it everything you got, and that was impressive, if nothing else. So, is this, is this a case of over promotion? Yeah. Great high school coach. Maybe shouldn't have taken that jump. That's right. Either way. Promoted to a point of failure. You got it. You got oh. it. All right. So that's going to wrap up the Mountain West West, which just sounds awesome. The Mountain West West. Go over to winningcureseverything.com. We got everything else up there. We're going to have all of our college football previews throughout the year. Make sure you subscribe on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify. Leave some nice five-star written reviews. We do appreciate that. That supports the show. It gets us in front of more people. Make sure you comment on YouTube. Comment on the website, wherever. Uh, Share it out. Tell your buddies about it. We appreciate you being here. We will see you guys next go round. Thanks for checking out Winning Cures Everything. If you want to keep up with us, hit subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. Visit the website at winningcureseverything.com or you can like us on Facebook or follow us at Winning Cures, at Gary WCE, or at Chris B. Giannini on Twitter. Share out the show, leave a nice review, and make sure to comment and tweet at us.